Hi, I'm Paige or Novice Cosplay and welcome to the Online Cosplay Tutorial Challenge Award Ceremony. We're super excited to present the winners of all the various awards for this contest. All of the tutorials that people submitted were amazing. I feel like I've learned so much and really excited to show everyone who won and all the prizes. So let's get started. Um, first, I just wanted to introduce the judges of this contest. Our first judge is Lutavia Cosplay. They are a cosplay panelist at conventions and they post a ton of build threads with tips and tricks. And you can find all of their links there. Next is the Dela Doll. She is a cosplayer, journalist, makeup artist, she does a lot. Um, and she posts a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so definitely check those out if you need some makeup help like I do. <laughs> and finally, we have the Geeky Seamtress. The Geeky Seamtress is a cosplayer and also a commissioner. She is also one-fourth of Cosmic Courtier, which is a really great resource that I just want to show you real quick in case you don't know about them. Um, but as you can see from here, they post a bunch of tutorials, especially on Sailor Moon, Sefuku's, like here's a bow one. Um, so yeah, all of our judges are super into educational and tutorial content, which is why they were perfect for this. Let's get to the first Judges' Choice Award. So this is Lutavia's first Judge Award, and the prize is any choice of Kinpatsu cosplays, books, patterns, or build guides that she has available on her store. Congratulations to Spooky Stitch for the Chocobo mascot head build thread. In Lutavia's own words, anyone who knows me knows I love build threads and what I love about this one is that it makes making a mascot head seem approachable to even a newcomer. Loved how mistakes and design changes were covered and the pictures were clear and easy to follow. Great example of one of my favorite tutorial formats. Congratulations, Spooky Stitch. And what's this? We have two awards per judge. So this is a $50 Blick Art Materials gift certificate provided by Blick. Thank you, Blick. And this is awarded to Big Emotic Cosplay. Congratulations. And once again, in Lutavia's own words, I constantly talk about how important research and searching for the right names and examples of your own work is. And lo and behold, an amazing tutorial for just the thing. I adore the examples and thought process behind the research methodology and the visuals and pacing aren't overwhelming for a sometimes heavy topic. Great for newcomers and experts alike. So congratulations, Big Emotic, great tutorial. Next is De La Doll's first judge award. And the prize is a copy of Fabulous Cosplay Footwear by Kaba Crunchies. Congratulations to Wicked Salt for the Wicked Brows Eyebrow Makeup Tutorial. So, Dela expressed that she often struggles with covering her own eyebrows, but seeing this made it seem really approachable and she was really excited to try this own method. Um, I also quickly want to mention that Wicked Salt also submitted some really great posing tutorials, so if you're looking for more tutorial content, definitely check pretty much everyone on this in who have submitted to this contest. Okay. And for Dela's second Judge Award for a $50 Blick gift card, it goes to Ashwee's Cosplay for her overcooked tomato soup prop video. Uh, Dela expressed that she really loved seeing the clever use of materials and to use the fabric as a liquid was a really clever idea and the tutorial itself was really clear and well presented. So congratulations to Ashwee's. Next up is the Geeky Seamstress's first judge award. This is a pattern of the winner's choice, anything from Indigo Patterns, who is a cosplay pattern creator. Congratulations to Elemental Cosplay. This is a video about tips for pinning fabric in Geeky Seamdress's own words. I love the infomercial feel at the beginning of this tutorial. 
It's an entertaining approach to a topic that's often glossed over when people are introduced into sewing. And in my own words, I actually learned quite a few tips of this uh, on my own. So great job, Elemental Cosplay. And for the Geeky Seamstress's second judge award, the $50 Blick gift card, it is awarded to Stardust Megu. Congrats. This is for the Sailor Moon Bun Shields tutorial that was posted on TikTok. In Geeky Seamstress's own words, learning to see cosplay pieces in everyday objects is such a useful skill, and this tutorial is a great example of that. I love the ingenuity of this approach. Great job, Stardust Megu. All right, so now we're gonna get into the other category awards. And first we have two outstanding text tutorials to award. The first prize is a copy of the Cosplayer's Bookshelf, which is a current Humble Bundle available that has a bunch of cosplaying book resources. And this one is awarded to Keely Ann or Evie Chu for her Hey Hey from Moana DIY. And let me pull up the tutorial. So on our website, you can actually find a list of all of the tutorials that were submitted. So if you want to flip through these for fun and also to learn at the same time, definitely check it out. It'll be linked. Um, but just to highlight some of these winners, This one was really great because it showed a bunch of different techniques and textures and materials like foam, glues, clay, wire, a bunch of stuff um, to create a really cool and realistic cartoony chicken. So awesome job. Like look at the tin foil for the chicken feet. Awesome. So congratulations on your Humble Bundle book. The next outstanding text tutorial is awarded a set of Createx Colors paints. Um, now this image is just illustrative. The team at Createx Colors is actually putting together custom paint kits for all of the paint winners here that include paints that are perfect for cosplayers. So things like their aluminum chrome, which was used in the uh, Mandalorian series as well as primers and sealers, and then some various colors for mixing. And this is awarded to Zippy Ellie for her painting elf ears for cosplay tutorial. So just to show you a bit of this tutorial, um, some of the coolest part was not just the materials, but this diagram that was drawn that really shows the anatomy of the ear and can help you with any ear shape, not just elf ears. Uh, so really in-depth, really useful tutorial. Congratulations. Next, we have another copy of the Cosplayer's Bookshelf Humble Bundle, and this is awarded to the Outstanding Build Thread Award. Congratulations to Keiko Pin Cosplay for her Dodo Gama Kigurumi Build Thread from Monster Hunter. What was really great about this build thread was that it was so in-depth that you really walk away feeling like you could make a Kigurumi of your own. And the design choices are also just really cute. So nice job, Kiku Pin. Next is the best budget-friendly tutorial. The winner of this award wins a mini, an Oliso mini iron in purple, as well as an ironing board cover in yellow. And I personally use an Aliso iron myself and they're really awesome. So I think they're really gonna love it because they work so well. So congratulations to Cat Birdie for the hot glue fireball tutorial. This tutorial is super budget friendly because most cosplayers, we already have hot glue and it shows that unique materials can be used in creative ways to create a really cool effect. So here you can see the sheets as a hot glue using combined with a light to make a flame effect. So nice job cat birdie. Next we have the most innovative technique and the award for this is a Createx Colors Wicked Paint set, which is a just a few more paints thrown in than the previous pack. 
So congratulations to Colleen Cosplay for making cosplays for Mobility Aid's forearm crutch cover tutorial. We really loved this tutorial because not only was the content itself really clear and took us step by step through the whole process, but it's also a really versatile technique that could be used on a variety types of mobility aids, and it also promotes inclusion in the cosplay community. Uh, so super awesome. Congratulations, Colleen Cosplay. And finally, we have the Createx Colors Best Paint Tutorial. The winner of this will get the Createx Color Ultimate Paint Set. Again, this is not the exact set of colors you'll get. This more, the image is more illustrative. Um, and you'll also get a comedy cosplay PDF book of your choice. Um, but this is specifically awarded to a tutorial that talks about painting techniques. And now you'll get to use a bunch of really incredible Createx Colors branded paints which are the best in class. So congratulations to Tilly Boom Cosplay for the Mr. Mistopheles Unitard tutorial from Cats the Musical. What we loved about this tutorial is one, that painting on fabric is hard, but it also showed multiple techniques using a brush and bottle and what the different strokes and movements looked like. And seeing how paint is applied in video is really helpful because you can see how the brush strokes or bottle is moved. So congratulations to Tilly Boom. Next up is the best TikTok or reel or short form tutorial. You will win an Oliso mini iron in purple. Once again, these irons are awesome. They have a really great steam function and a protective silicone cover that is heat proof, uh, which is this like purple cover that you can see attached to it. Congratulations to Serocon for the how to hide foam seams TikTok video. What we liked about this one is that it showed the exact sandpaper and Dremel bits that were used, as well as the exact types of glue and brand of gesso. And when I'm watching tutorials, I usually want to know exactly what the person is knowing. Um, I usually want to know exactly what the person is using. So great job, Serocon. Oh, and it's going to play. <laughs> Next up is the best YouTube tutorial. This person will win a cosplay supplies warbler pack with samples of the different varieties. So there's some Wonderflex, some Warbler, Warbler's Pearly Art, Warbler's Black Art, Warbler's Transpair Art. And you'll also win a Logitech G733 headset in the KDA one. This is actually a headset that I like to use a lot and the hope is that since you're creating YouTube videos you can kind of record and listen to stuff with your new headset. So congratulations to Sarah Spaceman for the wig styling for beginners cosplay tutorial. What we loved about this tutorial was that it talked through kind of all of the basic techniques that you need to know for wig styling, like teasing, cutting, hairspray, and more. And then also the angles are really clear. Personally, I've even tried to record a wig styling video before and it did not go well because your arm just gets so in the way. Uh, so filming that takes some skill. So congratulations to Sarah Spaceman. And I'm gonna pause that, but definitely watch the whole video later. Okay, so there's a couple more awards to go through, and I was a bit selfish and I decided to do my own award as well. So this is another $50 Blick Art Materials gift card, and it will be awarded to Lissandella for the Making a Weapon Prop from Start to Finish text tutorial. Congratulations. This one was really awesome because I'm still somewhat new to props, but it was really easy to read and went into exactly, literally every step for making a prop. Um, nothing was skipped. So if you're new to cosplay or new to props, this is a great place to start that really introduces you to every single topic uh, related to props. So congratulations to Liz. And there's one more final prize. You may not have known about this, but everyone who submitted a tutorial was included into a raffle and the raffle winner is Pochkin. Pochkin submitted a tutorial about pleating, like pleating and skirts and such. Uh, so definitely check that out. 
but she won a $30 Artelig gift card as part of the raffle. So congratulations. And that's all of the awards. I hope you had fun looking at the some of these tutorials and just a reminder that all of these oops are linked you can find all of them definitely watch and read all of them because they're all so cool I learned so much and found so many awesome tutorial creators that can just teach you tons of cool tips and new things um, so thank you so much to everyone for participating I really hope you keep making tutorials. Hopefully we'll be back again next year with even more prizes. And if you did win an award, keep your eyes on your DMs because I will start reaching out to you over the weekend. Um, thank you so much, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!